Hey folks, welcome to another day and another unboxing. What I have here is the FX Tech Pro One. This is a phone with a hardware slide out keyboard. And unlike Blackberry phones that have recently been released with a portrait format keyboard, this is a slider, right? So as you can see here, this is exciting. Now, a uh, quick disclaimer before we start. I, in the very early days of this project, advised the company a little bit. So I just want to get that out of the way so you know where I'm coming from. But I have not worked with the company in quite a while. So this is pretty much new to me in terms of a final product. So FX Tech is based in the UK. This phone is made in China, obviously. And uh, so let's unbox it. Let's have a look at it. Let's check out the specs. Here we go. This is the box, so it says designed by FX Tech in London. Here's the right other size, you can kind of see the design, it's pretty clever. And then, uh, you know, here is like some stuff in the back. Not too much, just eye maze really. So let's open it up. Dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da -da it's sliding open, it's just taking a second. There we go, nothing else in here. We have, ooh, a little carry case it looks like yeah, it looks like it's felt I'm not gonna open that up right now I don't really care too much Ooh, a nice little welcome oh hey there welcome to FX Tech it's great to meet you I'll let you read that it's by Adrian and Chen the founders and we have the rest of the box which includes the phone right here we'll take a look at that in a second and some accessories there's an AC adapter here that looks like it has some international plugs including us europe and uk of course since this is a british product oh that is wedged in there real good there you go so you got all three here us uk and europe and i guess it just slides out somehow there's a little release button right here so there you go that's the design this is a usb type a charger with a little weird green keying there i'm not sure what the deal is with that but uh, it's a uh, quick charge 3 from Qualcomm compatible that's pretty decent I'll leave that up for you folks to read uh, I'm not sure how many watts that is we've got a divider here that you can remove and then we've got something under here what is that let's take a look so I guess it opens this way and you've got a USB cable, USB-A on one end, and USB-C on the other hand, as you'd expect. So this is a charging cable, data cable. And we've got, oh, um, looks like a screen protector, perhaps. Interesting. And then we've got uh, some documentation. Let's see. In addition to the welcome letter, I think that's it, folks. There is a little guide, FX Tech, FX Tech Pro 1. Uh, other language one two three I love that interesting so here we go that's some instructions here's how you put the sim card in you don't need a tool which is exciting and then in the back I suppose are the other languages oh no I guess this is just English not sure what this language business was all about that's it folks there's nothing else in the box so uh, let's have a look at the phone shall we I think this is what we all came for right so here it is. There's an IMA sticker in the back, so I'm gonna peel that off really gently. A few moments later. So there we go, I managed to peel the sticker. But bad news is it's left a whole bunch of gunk on the back of the phone, so that's not very good. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean that off, I'm sorry to say. So that's the phone, here you go. And this is the party trick. There you go. Now, if you've been around long enough, like I have, reviewing smartphones, you know this mechanism. You're familiar with this design. Because as soon as I show you this right here, and this right here, you will know that this is exactly the same design and mechanism Nokia used on the E-Series back in the day. You can see it here. This is a very clever hinge design. See, you can see the ribbon cable down there and boom. So before I turn it on, let me tell you what's under the hood real quick. 
So I'm sorry about the sticker goo. That was totally unexpected. I've never had a IMA sticker this difficult to peel off. There's a dual camera system in the back, 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel. Don't know what the details are in terms of the f-stops on the lenses, but it's an IMX363 sensor. That's the same sensor that's on the Pixel phones. At least, I think the Pixel 1 or 2. And so, theoretically, since this is based on a Snapdragon chip, you should be able to install the Pixel camera app, the, the Google camera app, and get a much better camera experience because it's using the same sensor. The 5 megapixel uh, sensor, second sensor is for portraits. It's a depth sensor. It's not a telephoto or anything. It's a dual color, dual LED flash here, FX logo, terrible IMA sticker goo that I'll have to remove somehow. Designed by FX Tech, London, UK. So this is metal. This is an all aluminum chassis. And so you're gonna say, where is NFC? Well, it's probably up here. It's either some antenna bands at the top. So this does have NFC, thank God. And it has a 3,200 milliamp hour battery a Snapdragon 835. Yes, you heard that right, it's 2019, and this is now three generations behind. So we had 835, then 845, then 855, and now we have 865. Now, mind you, there are no 865 phones yet because we're December 2019, but it's only a matter of time till we get those phones at this point. So yeah, uh, that's the one thing that is a bit unfortunate. Six gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, so that's the specs. Pretty decent overall, other than maybe this outdated processor. You know, it was kind of okay a couple of years ago, but I think at this point, 2019 is just not gonna cut it. And this is, you know, what's tricky about this. I think it's when you are a small company like this and you're trying to build a phone from scratch, it takes you a little while to release it. And then, you know, the tech is not really up to standard. So let's turn it on real quick. I'll show you the display. This is a six inch display roughly. 1080p AMOLED, so that's exciting. You can see the FX Tech logo here is yellow. I'm not sure the video shows you that very well, but here it is. And Pro 1, so it's just booting. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can see it here in the video, but this has small top and bottom forehead and chin, 18.9, uh, rounded corners, very nice. As you see, the colors are really beautiful. Now, I'm not gonna set this up, but this gives you a good idea of what the bezels are like. Not bad at all. Now it is a one of those waterfall displays where the edges are curved. You can kind of see it there. Just like a Galaxy phone from Samsung. Uh, there's an eight megapixel front facing camera right here. I'm not sure what the specs are other than the resolution. There's an earpiece. I think there's a notification LED here. And then there's really nothing on the bottom edge here, of course. So the left hand side has the SIM slot right here. Theoretically, you don't need a tool to open this. You can just use your nail to pull out the SIM tray and it does support micro SD in addition to a SIM card, which is pretty great. So I'm sorry I can't open this. My nails are too short, but hey, and then on top here, I guess this is the top. Yeah, where the camera is. So we have a headphone jack, which is good. And one of the two speakers, because yes, this has stereo side facing speakers. Headphone jack is a welcome feature. On the bottom here, we have the second speaker and a USB type C port along with a primary microphone so you can make calls. And on the right hand side here, you have a bunch of interesting stuff. So first you have a volume rocker, no big deal there. A power lock key with a diamond cut edge or whatever. It's pretty nice, catches the light. Then you have a fingerprint sensor. Now the fingerprint sensor is not a button, it's just a fingerprint sensor just sitting there. It's not incorporating the power button, which I think is really odd. I'm surprised they were, did that. And then finally you have a camera button. Yes, a camera button. Now. This is double to 10, so you press a little bit and you focus, press again, and you take the photo. This is pretty cool. Actually, look, it started the camera, me just doing that. So even though it's never been set up, it's actually working right out of the box. Of course, the big party trick here is, you know, this party trick right here. So here you go. You've got this beautiful keyboard. It's dome keys. They feel really nice. Hello. Feels really good to the hand. You got a full number row here. You've got inverted T cursor keys. You've got control, you've got alt, you get caps lock, you get tab, everything is in there. So this is pretty awesome. For those of you who are hardcore keyboard people, this is gonna be the phone for you. The other thing is I can't show you because I'm not setting it up on screen, but there's a bunch of software that's optimizing this user experience. So it's just a mild modification of the default Google launcher. Basically, 
a small skin, if you were, that improves the user interface so that you can use it in landscape mode better. And kudos to them for making that happen. I think it's very cool. So yeah, it's an aluminum and glass sandwich that basically has two halves to it. And it's not too thick. It feels really nice. It's really well made. That's some of the nice things about this phone. And so, yeah, check it out. It sells for $6.99. That's a bit steep for a Snapdragon 835 equipped phone at this point. But hey, that's where we're at. So if you're, it's not like you have a lot of choices, especially if you want a landscape slider like this. So if you're looking for a phone with a hardware keyboard and you still want a phone that's relatively modern and can run everything, this is your only ticket right now. I mean, you can try to buy an older Blackberry, but it's going to be portrait and the keyboard is going to be more cramped. So that's it, folks. This is my quick unboxing of the FX Tech Pro 1, a very interesting device from a small company in the UK. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Please like this video, subscribe, tell your friends, click the little notification bell below and please uh, comment in the comments below as well. Now remember this entire channel is a supplement to the podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. So if you're looking for more about this phone, more, you know, my thoughts, please listen to the podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com or on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Overcast, Spotify, pretty much every major platform. Check out the podcast and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Cheers, everybody.